How you doing, good people? This is the 8-Bit Animal, and today is a special day. Today is the halfway point of 2022, which means we are halfway done with the year of the animal. I'm excited. I really, really am. And to celebrate, I decided to pick a particularly daunting video game to talk about. It's a game from a company called Active Enterprises. And Active Enterprises only has one credit to their name, one published credit. Active Enterprises was founded by a guy named Vince Perry. And Vince Perry, at some point, apparently, according to legend, locked three college students in a room for several days. None of them had any programming experience and told them make a game or make several games. And this is the result. It's one of the most infamous things in gaming history. One, because it sold for 200 bucks and the selling point was that it was it averaged out to four dollars a game, right? Problem is, pretty much all of those games are near unplayable. They're all pieces of crap. They're all really, really bad. I know, I know, and I'm sorry. But today, we're going to take a look at Action 52. Now, when you turn on Action 52, you hear this terrible ripoff of parts of DJ Rock, <laughs> MC Rob Bass, DJ Easy Rock's legendary track, It Takes Two. And then it goes to the menu screen. The first game on the list is a game that is, it's the only game on this list of games that can only be played with two players. It's kind of like a combat ripoff involving dragons called Firestarter. And it's not good. And you got loads of games. You got, you probably got about 20 of these games that are all shmups. Y'all know I love shmups. This is the most insulting thing I've ever done to myself, is sit down with Action 52 and a whole bunch of shmups and, and all those horrible, horrible things. One of those shmups looks like a bad magic eye puzzle. It, it is absolutely dreadful. It hurts. Nothing about that game is good. Even the feature presentation, game number 52, the Cheetah Men, they put all their eggs in, a, in one basket trying to market the Cheetah Men. There's a comic book in this cartridge, in this box. Um, they promised action figures. There was supposed to be a cartoon series. When I say they were trying to replace the Ninja Turtles with, with, with the Cat Boys, they were trying to replace the Ninja Turtles with the Cat Boys. Problem is, the, all the Ninja Turtle games are fun. Even the one that y'all be hating on because of the, the, the swimming bomb diffusing level. I enjoy that shit. It's hard. Meanwhile, Cheetah Men, they, they, like, there's a glitch in there where you can make, you can make mans jump infinitely. But if you jump too high, you get stuck with your lower half at the top of the screen and your upper half at the bottom of the screen and it free it, it you die um there is so much wrong with this game there's a knockoff zelda game called silver sword you just walk along this random green field there's a tank game called storming across the desert or something like that where at some point you have to kill a giant Saddam Hussein. There's um what else we got? 
Did I mention all the schmucks? There was another game called Ooze where apparently you could win $10,000 for beating the game and post, like sending them a picture of your of your um your credit screen. Nobody won that. This game is a piece of crap. Nobody won it. And if you try to go back and win it now, act, Active Enterprises does not exist, as far as I know. There, mm -mm, no. Um, it's it's so bad, bruh. It hurts. Um, I know I complained and I was real angry about Back to the Future, but at least Back to the Future. At least there were some things in Back to the Future that actually worked. This game is literally 52 of the worst things cobbled together in one collection of the worst thing. It, it burns, bruh. Let's see, what else we got on this thing? Um, there's some weird beat-em-ups where you just kind of lean into your to the enemies to to hurt them it yeah it kind of looks like double dragon on the 2600 it's that bad um there are loads of games where if you fall more than three pixels in length and height rather you die but that's not explained um honestly this is one of the worst video games I ever played. And I've played a lot of bad stuff. Remember Rise of the Robots? I played that. I lived through that. Hopefully you wouldn't have to go through that. Now, if you decide you want to go get a copy of Action 52 for collecting purposes, because that's literally all you can do with it. I don't know about the Genesis version, but the NES version of Action 52 has actually kind of gone down in price. You can get a copy for as low as $200. It's not bad, price-wise. However, don't do that to yourself. You don't like yourself? You, you, you despise yourself that much that you don't wanna play something better than Action 52? There's so much better stuff out here. Go play Untitled Goose Game. You want chaos? Go play Untitled Goose Game. That's a better use of chaos and a better use of your time than anything on the Action 52 cartridge. This has been the 8-Bit Animal, and I'll catch you beautiful people tomorrow. Tomorrow, got a good old-fashioned puzzle game. Ain't nothing wrong with that.